Tonight, there's a new plan to build a new hotel next to the old Sleep Train Arena. Actually, it's a pretty big plan. It involves more than just a hotel. With big events and lots of visitors coming to Sacramento, some people are having a hard time finding a place to stay. And new tonight, CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw is live from Sleep Train Arena with the new hotel development ready to help meet the need. Jennifer? Yeah, Simon Christina, this could be big news for Natomas. We're just south of the arena, and right behind me, this big empty field could be home to a new hotel, businesses, and a few restaurants. The sleep train arena, while very much still present, has left a void of empty streets and silence. The big city buzz for Natomas neighbors. I don't like it at all, but uh, it's exciting to see what they're going to do with the space. Just like the rest of us wondering what's happening to the sleepy arena. A new developer isn't wasting time and plans to put in a new hotel with space for top-notch businesses. Farm to fork food experience, you know, with local makers, um, no chains, no subways. The developer, Rich Nolan, presented the 300,000 square foot building to the Sacramento Planning Commission and got the green light. The complex is planned for an area just south of the Sleep Train Arena, right on Arena Boulevard. It will house 120 Marriott hotel rooms along with three buildings for businesses and even a plan for a future farmer's market. The plan now heads to the full Sacramento City Council for approval. Natoma's construction stalled for quite some time because of the building moratorium. The Army Corps of Engineers said the levees weren't stable enough to allow the area to grow. That ban has been lifted, and Nolan believes it's a good thing for Natoma's. Not a lot has happened. There's a lot of stuff going on downtown. But not every business wants to be in downtown, as wonderful as it is. And residents are happy to hear new neighbors are moving in. So I think something hopefully will replace it that will bring the business back. The developer has a few more hurdles to clear, but if all goes well, he says he hopes to break ground this coming summer. All right. Very good, Jen. Thanks very much. Appreciate the live report. For